we left off part one with the fitting. It fit really good and I was thinking about taking the um, uh, the elastic out and adding a elastic strip so I can make it a little longer but I decided to leave it the way it is so I had a little bit of hair I went ahead and I hand stitched it as you can see what I like to do for my wigs is hand stitch the hair in and then machine sew it down so what we're going to do now is head on down to Pauline's Hair Goods in Lakewood, California. It's about a 30 minute drive from me to get the rest of the hair I need to complete the back of this wig. Okay, I'm here at Pauline's Hair Goods and that's the door to the entry. So let's go in. I hope that they'll let me record. We'll see. what I'm buying it's 18 inch wavy three and a half ounces and the total cost with tax is 164 something like 164 but I'll verify that when I get my receipt okay so I hope that you liked all that good old raw footage from my trip to Pauline's so let me show you up close what I bought and how much it cost so this is 18 inch, it's long for 18 inches, huh? This is 18 inch wavy. And I looked at so much that I decided on this because it's almost the exact, you know, the same exact hair as what I have on. So since I, or right, since I only really have, um, this much left at the bottom it's probably only going to take i'm going to say maybe five tracks or four tracks i'm going to space them one inch apart because i don't like a lot of hair and i don't want to have to go through thinning it out this one the tracks are really close together they're a half an inch apart and i had to go in and thin it out with my thinning shears because you don't want to leave huge spaces in your wig you know, it just, it just doesn't look right. So I have some hair left over to start ventilating a new wig after I finish this one. So since I had kind of been wearing this, I wore this on my ski trip, so I already have the strap and everything sewn in and the combs. I'm going to have to take all that out. And then, honey, I'm going to slay this wig and get it done. So I will come back to you with it all done and I'll have it on my head for a fitting. So you know that this is not my normal color. I don't wear black. I do leave it dark at the roots to match, you know, my gray and black hair. But I will be dyeing it. Um, so I'll have to work with it, you know, over the course of the next few months. But I'll come back hopefully next week with the whole completed version. I'm going to finish hand sewing them in and I'm going to machine sew them down. Sew the combs back in, and I'm not going to be using this strap. I'm going to be using my clear strap. You know, this clear one looks like that. And looks like that in the back. Yeah, it's a clear lace strap. I love this strap because it's, it's so snug, and I just like it. So anyway, um, that's it. Thank you for watching.